Today's workout is for time. We have 16 power snatches, uh, 12 overhead squat, 20 bar facing burpees, 12 overhead squats, then 16 power snatches. So this one uh, is a sprint. Um, haven't been doing a lot of sort of sprint workouts uh, over the last uh, week or so, um, focusing on um, more long uh, time domains. So today we're gonna mix it up. Uh, also a good opportunity to test the hamstring uh, with some more squats, so a different style of squat, so the overhead squat. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see how we go with that. Now the weight is on the lighter end, so we'll drop back down to uh, 95 pounds or 43 kilos. Um, again, this is just to uh, test that hamstring um, and see how it goes under uh, sprint conditions as well. So very much looking forward to this one. We'll see how we go. Here we go.
all right. Um, hamstring wise, uh, fine. Didn't feel a thing. Felt uh, somewhat normal other than uh, the fact I haven't done overhead squats <coughs> in a long time. Um, felt felt slow the whole way. Um, my barbell cycling, barbell fitness is just not there. Um, which is, again, nothing surprising. It's just another hill to climb, another obstacle to overcome. Um, more just an observation. Um, but uh, I ended up breaking down into singles on that last set of snatches. I wanted to do touch and go, but I know I would have rested a lot longer <clears throat> in between the sets. So I was planning on doing fours uh, for that last one, um, but going in or out of those overhead squats was felt all right. Um, heart rate was still jacked um, from the, the burpees um, and obviously holding the bar above my head, which I haven't done in some time. But I uh, just felt I could have got through it quicker, those 16 reps uh, doing singles than I can touch and go at the moment. So that's what I resorted to. And in the end, nothing terrible, but definitely felt it and uh, know where we need to improve. So we'll keep hitting that. Till next one.